switching from the deals ring now and do those opportunities with longer fixed rate debt, not really needing to squeeze out every and soak at every little piece of, of value. You do that with floating rate debt, which typically speaking is the you know preferred vehicle for, for borrowing. That becomes very interesting. Did you mean floating or did you mean fixed? Floating. I think, I mean, eventually I think floating might be the play. If you, you know, don't over lever, if you buy really good quality real estate, yeah, maybe a couple of years you might go a little bit thin on cash flow, but the upside's pretty immense. Also, the flexibility is nice if you want to exit, if there's a clear path to do so. And also, if you buy a good rate cap, like, hey, you just basically simulate at the highest end, this is what it looks like. And then, you know, best case, well, you can simulate what that looks like as well. I think if you're looking at longer term ownership, I think fixing the rate makes more sense than floating just because while you might be able to optimize returns with a floating rate loan, it just the variability of outcomes and the not being able to sleep well at night, right? It, it's, it's almost even, there's like an emotional aspect to it, similar to one's desire to own their primary residence without debt, right? That's not necessarily a financial, yeah, that's not a financial decision. That's an emotional decision, right? Because if you were purely crunching the numbers, you would take a mortgage out on your house, and then you would invest the difference at a higher rate of return than the cost of the mortgage, right? It's very straightforward, but rich people don't do that. They own their house cash. So this is similar. Like you'd say, okay, well, if we're trying to squeeze every drop of return out, what we would do is we would buy deals and then we would try to sell them as quickly as possible to monetize the appreciation. And you can't do that if you have a fixed rate loan because the fixed rate loan is going to encumber the deal with very high prepayment penalties. Whereas a floater will give you the flexibility to exit and then maximize the return. So people who take a lower return approach, longer term approach, they're going to fix the rate because it helps them sleep well at night. They're not so worried about maximizing the the return of the deal. So they don't need to be able to have the ability to take advantage of an opportunistic exit. So I don't know. I think obviously everyone can do what they want, but that's typically what you see.